Hi, everyone. I think I came up with a simple and elegant solution to the Green Reaper paradox. For those who don't know, this paradox attempts to prove that it's impossible for an infinite series of things to exist in reality. It is often used in the context of the first cause argument in order to show that there cannot be an infinite regress of causes. Now, I think the solution to the paradox is to say that once we are in space time, then nothing can move at infinite speed. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. First, I'm going to go over the paradox. Then I will briefly present the three main proposed resolutions to this, and then I will show you my own resolution. If you already know this stuff, feel free to skip right to the infinite speed chapter. Okay, so this is the Grim Reaper paradox. Imagine there is a guy called Fred, and there is an infinite sequence of Green Reapers, each assigned a time to kill Fred. We start at 12 p.m., and each Reaper will only kill Fred if no earlier Reaper has already killed him. Now, here's how the series is arranged. Reaper number one is set up to kill Fred at 1 a.m. No other Reaper has done it before. Reaper number two is set up to kill him at half the time interval. So the Reaper will kill Fred at 12.30 p.m. if no other Reaper has done it. Reaper number three will kill Fred at 12.15. Reaper number four will kill Fred at 12 p.m. seven minutes and 30 seconds and so on. Now the question is this, which Reaper will be the one that kills Fred? The answer is that none of them will be the one that kills Fred. Will Reaper number two kill Fred? No, because Reaper number three will get to Fred first. Now, will Reaper number three kill Fred then? Well, no, because Reaper number four will get to Fred first. And again, this goes on forever. So no matter what number you have, it will, it will always be true that that particular Reaper cannot kill Fred. So the conclusion is that no Reaper can actually kill Fred. So the question is this, does Fred die? The answer would be no, because no Reaper can kill Fred. But here's the tricky part. Does Fred live past 1 a.m.? The answer is no, because at the very least, at 1 a.m., the first Reaper is set up to absolutely kill Fred. So Fred can't make it past 1 a.m. But it's also true that no Reaper can kill him. So it looks like we have a contradiction here. The conclusion then is that this infinite series leads to a logical contradiction. And this shows that infinite series are impossible in reality. At least that's what some people say. Okay, so what are the solutions to this paradox? There are basically three solutions. Caspal finities, discrete time, and something called the unsatisfiable pair diagnosis. Caswell Finitim says that there are, cannot be an infinite series of causes. So basically, it's impossible for an infinite series of Green Reapers to exist. The second solution, discrete time, says that it's impossible to keep dividing time an infinite number of times because time is discrete instead of being continuous. So at some point, you will reach the smallest possible unit of time. Now, the third solution, the unsatisfiable pair diagnosis, is the one that many people prefer. There is a video of Majesty of Reason where they present this solution. The idea is that it's not the infinite series which is the problem, but rather it's something about the specific arrangement or structure of the series that makes it logically impossible for it to exist. Now here is Joe Smith online in this solution. Let me just articulate the UPD then. This is the second candidate unifying solution that we consider in the paper. And it's pretty simple. It basically just says, listen, all of these paradoxes are just uniformly logically impossible because they share a kind of abstract structure which no collection of things can satisfy. We don't need to take on any deep substantive metaphysical thesis like causal finitism or the finitude of the past or the contradictoriness of motion or anything like that. So it's a very kind of deflationary solution. Now that I have shown you the solution, let me propose my own elegant solution to this. I think that the problem here is infinite speed. The paradox assumes that the Reapers can instantly kill Fred, which means that they can move at infinite speed. If they need some 
finite amount of, of time to kill free, then the, it immediately doesn't work. But I think that you cannot have infinite speed once you are inside of space-time. I think this is logically impossible. I will provide two arguments for this. Number one, in the real world, speed will be the limiting factor in the paradox. And number two, there are logical problems with the notion of infinite speed. Now, number one, in the real world, speed will be the limiting factor solving the paradox. This is very easy to see. Imagine that the Reapers need some finite amount of time to kill Fred, let's say one minute. Then we can easily see that Reaper number six is the one that kills Fred. And the reason that Reaper number seven doesn't kill Fred is that he doesn't have time to do it. So this was just to illustrate that the fact that a finite speed trivially solves the paradox. Now, here comes the key part of the argument. I think that you cannot have infinite speed in the real world. The reason for that is that speed is a relational quantity rather than an absolute quantity. The speed of a movement can be calculated by dividing distance by time. The way that you get an infinite speed is if the denominator is zero, but the division by zero is not allowed in arithmetics. This can also be said in normal words. If we say that an action was performed at infinite speed, then that action will have been performed in zero amount of time. If the action took any finite amount of time, no matter how small, then the action was performed at a finite speed. But I will, what I will say here, and this is the key concept in all of this, is that once we are in space-time, then it is logically incoherent to speak of an act that takes zero time. It's simply not possible. Once we are inside of space-time, and remember that the paradox happens inside of time, because time is flowing from 12 p.m. to 1 a.m., then any act must take some time. It makes no sense to, to say that you can perform an action in zero time, because an action always implies a before the action and an after the action. So there is no way to have a timeless act if you are already inside of space-time. Let's remember that some people define time as a measure of change. So if we have some change, then we also have some time. Now, do we have change in the moment a Green Reaper acts? Of course, because Fred changes from being alive to being dead. So again, if there is some degree of change, then there is also some time involved on this. So anyway, this was my easy solution to the paradox. I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. So please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.